Hello again and welcome to another video from me Mr Arnold. This video we're going to look at sharing an amount into a given ratio. So we've got a few problems here I'm going to go through and then I'm going to leave you with the balance of the problems. I'll probably do the first four and leave the other six for you to try and then we'll pull up the solutions and you can see how you did. Right, so I have this problem. I have to share 55 in a ratio 8 to 3. So, step 1 is to work out how many parts in total there are and we simply add these two numbers together to find out the total number of parts so I know 8 plus 3 is 11 so I know 8 plus 3 is 11 so I have 11 parts in total now I know that 11 parts is 55 okay so I know 11 parts must be equal to the total amount 55 and I'm going to work out what one part is in order to find out one part we divide by 11 so one part is going to be 55 divided by 11 so I'll write that down here 55 divided by 11 which gives me 5 and this is the important number here so what I do is I go back to my ratio 8 to 3 and I'm going to multiply it by this I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 and 8 times 5 is 40 so and 3 times 5 is 15 so I can say one person is going to get 40 the other person is going to get 15 and we can check our answer make sure we're correct by adding these two together and if they add to 55, I know I've done it correctly. 40 plus 15 is 55, so we have that one correct. Let's have a look at the second one here. I want to share 110 in a ratio 1 to 10. So again, step 1 is work out the total number of parts. And we get that by adding this number and this number. So 1 plus 10 gives me 11. So I know that 11 parts... is going to be equal to the total amount I gotta work out what one part is and one part is going to be 110 so this divided by 11 and 110 divided by 11 is 10 so each part in the ratio is going to be equal to 10 this is the important number here so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the original ratio, both sides, by 10. So I take the 1 and the 10, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. 1 times 10 is 10, and I'm doing the same to the other side. 10 times 10 is 100, and I'm checking that I'm correct, 10 plus 100 is 110. So we know that one is correct. <coughs> Let's have a look at C. Share 99 in the ratio 9 to 2. So step 1, add the ratios together. 9 plus 2 gives me 11. So I know that 11 parts must be equal to the total amount, 99. Next step, work out one part. One part must be equal to 99 divided by 11. 99 <coughs> divided by 11 99 divided by 11 is 9 and this is the important number that's what one part represents so I'm going to multiply both parts of the ratio by 9 so 9 to 2 I'm going to multiply both sides by 9 9 times 9 is 81 2 times 9 is 18 and checking we're correct, 18 plus 81 is in fact 99, so we know that this one is correct. <clears throat> Last one I'm going to do, 48 in a ratio 1 to 7. So again, step 1, add these two numbers together, work out the total number of parts. 1 plus 7 gives me 8. So I know that 8 parts must be equal to the total amount. 
48. Next step, work out one part. One part is going to be 48 divided by 8. And 48 divided by 8 is 6. This is the important number. Take your ratio and multiply both sides by 6. 1 times 6 is 6 and 7 times 6 is 42. So 48 shared in the ratio 1 to 7. One person gets 6 and the other gets 42. And that is how you share an amount into a given ratio. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to do any more of these questions. I'm going to give you an opportunity to pause the video if you want to practice them. So pause the video now. Have a look at the six questions here. Give them a go. And I will bring up the solutions in a second. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at those questions. And on the next slide, you can mark your work. If you didn't manage to get them correct, try and figure out what it is you're doing wrong. And maybe look at the examples again. Right, so that's the solutions. Hopefully you got those correct. And that is how we share an amount into a given ratio. That's all from me. See you again sometime.